one of the challenge was to make an episode every single day. But after that I realized that, you know, my life is not really fast at all. So it's gonna be quite boring, you know, boring stuff every single day. But then, you know, things happen all the time actually. Especially today. Today was a very, very weird day. I think, like, since January, I have <sighs> quite a good life, you know, moved to a new house. Uh, basically, I have a new position and everything changed around me uh, in terms of colleagues and, um, you know, many, many things. And I'm really happy. And I almost, almost forgot about the time what was before January because for half a year I had quite a bit of problem with my neighbor every single day so there was an ongoing conversation with the council with solicitors with this and that da, da, da. anyway I'm not gonna go into details because there's something called YouTube guideline and I don't want to use rude words and stuff. And anyway, it's not really a good and happy story. <laughs> but it was over. It was over in January. You know, bad neighbors and stuff. Uh, it's better to get over it and move on. And this is what happened in January, January or February. And what happened today, in July, that in the morning I went to work and I find my neighbor at work, next to me. And he was, he was introduced to me as my new colleague. And I was like, what, what, it cannot be. We were fighting for almost a year, more than half a year, every single day, and it was terrible. And I thought that I'm never gonna see this person again. And then, there he was, morning, this morning at work. It was so weird, man. Ah, he was... He is massively alcoholic, so his face was like totally red as usual and like... Oh, well, I haven't seen him since January, so he put on some weight. But anyway, I was like, oof. So I went to my boss and I said... I'm going home. And I left. And I went home. <laughs> Well, you know, I took it easy. When I get on a bus, you know, we have here in London. Hmm. Let me show it to you. That's an Oyster card. So when you get on a bus, you need to tap this. So it's gonna take the money. Or if you have like a travel card or something, you know, it's gonna register that you're on this route. <clears throat> anyway, uh, when I got on the bus, it didn't want to register anything. It said um, that the whole system is off and it showed the red light. So I went to the driver and, you know, I said that I want to top my oyster. And he said that it doesn't work at the moment and... You know, don't worry about it, just go and sit down. And I just remember that this guy, my neighbor, traveled all the time without paying for the ticket. So it was like, oh my god, so weird. Anyway, half of the way, I got off from the bus and I went to a coffee bar. I don't really drink coffee at all nowadays, but I went to the shop and I wanted to do something totally different than my daily routine as I had a day off suddenly and and I asked for uh, 
and iced coffee and I realized that there is like 50 different kind of iced coffee I never had it before, I didn't know how it goes <laughs> it was funny man anyway, I stayed there for an hour you know, just to cool down and then I went to a bookshop and I bought two books one is Hiromi Kawakami Strange Weather in Tokyo and the other one is alright so Arund Hati Roy The Ministry of Outmost Happiness I'm gonna show you the cover so I took these books and I wanted to pay and um, this shop is uh, an independent shop and because it's an independent uh, shop you know it has a completely different feeling than all these big shops with many levels you know like four five six seven floors in them and uh, you know I was just staying there and enjoying this different atmosphere and there was only one customer and one lady at the till and the lady at the till as the guy you know how is he what is he doing at the moment and the guy said that he's ghost writing a story for a person <clears throat> who's not famous but uh, wanna write something about his life he he wants to get uh, a book published about his life and, and then it turned out that the lady at the till is doing exactly the same thing working as a ghost, a ghost writer and they started to talk about that and because this this independent shop is so small you know I was standing next to them and I could hear the whole conversation and it was, I don't know, for some reason it was lovely because they can do something which they love and in the same time be anonymous and I can totally relate to that thing it was great and then the whole thing, the whole conversation, this coffee, these books and everything, you know, finally got my mind off of the situation we had today that I saw my neighbor again after, you know, all those things happened. <laughs> wow, pretty weird day. Well... We'll see what's gonna happen.